Virginia's hospitals and health systems have administered the majority of shots in arms so far in Virginia. In Northern Virginia, Innova Health System has administered more than 35,000 doses. In fact, the first day Innova workers could register for vaccination, they had 9,000 employees sign up. Now Innova is working with local health departments to help vaccinate 55,000 teachers, public safety personnel, and people age 75 and over. Other health systems are also helping vaccinate 1B populations. Valley Health in Shenandoah and Mary Washington Healthcare in Fredericksburg are standing up clinics in large spaces that could accommodate several thousand people. And other health systems are doing their part as well. I'm grateful for our partnership with our hospitals in Virginia, and they're going to be a great help in the coming weeks as we speed up our pace of vaccinations. In recent days, we've seen a new attitude among our federal partners. We have been able to work much more closely with them. Tuesday afternoon, HHS sent new guidance to states. They told us states should immediately expand vaccinations to 65 and up, and those under 64 who have a comorbid condition. HHS promised to help states rapidly expand channels for vaccination. And they said, they said $3 billion in additional funding is on the way to help states make all of this happen. And that is good news. This is what we've been saying, that a better federal partnership and support will help all the states get this done faster. And this afternoon, uh, as soon as I finish here, I'll be speaking with Jeffrey Zentz, who has been tapped by President-elect Biden to lead the coronavirus response. Communication between the federal, state, and local authorities is key. So in Virginia, we're following the CDC recommendations. We're going to move people who are 65 and up or who have comorbid uh, conditions into phase 1B. If your health district is already there, that's now. But everyone in Virginia will be there by the end of the month. This means about half of Virginia is now eligible to receive the vaccine. That's a major logistical effort, and it is not going to happen overnight. Everyone will need to be patient. It's going to happen as fast as it can be done. And we're moving faster every day. Monday, we vaccinated more than 15,000 people. Tuesday, it was more than 17,000. Last Thursday and Friday, we topped 17,000 doses each day. So I'm counting on everyone to help us get this done. Hospitals and public health departments, as well as partners in businesses, colleges and universities, and private doctor's offices and pharmacies. I've been to a number of vaccination clinics in recent days, and they are well run and they are very efficient. They're organized with tables for check-in, chairs for getting your shot, and an area to wait afterward to make sure you don't have any allergic reactions or side effects. Uh, I went to T.C. Williams High School in Alexandria earlier this week, where they vaccinated 800 teachers. At Fairfield Middle School, right here in Henrico, yesterday, they vaccinated about 400 health care providers. I know that as localities have moved to vaccinating some of our frontline workers, teachers, and older people, they've seen a large amount of interest in appointments. And that is great because we need people to get this vaccine. It is our only way out of this pandemic. 